Before you go, make sure you're subscribed and turn on the notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Click that bell. Hello, humans. It is with a heavy heart that I announce that there are not enough fraps in the new Royal High update. So actually, as of now, you can still go back through the original portal as opposed to the carriage, and it will take you back to the old build of Royal High. And as you know, when you go upstairs, there are some fraps that you can get. So you have caramel, mocha. I mean, those are kind of the basic ones. I guess if you want to be basic, then you could order that. But you know what? It's here. It's on the menu. We are going to order one of every single frap and then recreate these fraps in real life people that's right because i don't know how much longer the old version is going to be around i wanted to commemorate these frappuccinos one last time so we went ahead we have ordered our unicorn we still have the mermaid and the fairy left to get and the mermaid and the unicorn and the fairy all of these sort of mystical creatures they all have very very sparkly frappuccinos so look at this you guys oh my so unicorn is bright pink you can see the mocha we will start with the caramel right here and the only thing i have to say is that i think that in real life we could make these look a little bit more magical what do you guys think you know what the big companies where they put all sorts of caramel in the lid and there's a ton of whipped cream so i say when we do it in real life let's do it up people and then the ones that are supposed to glow in real life we are going to make them glow in black light so i think the mermaid frappuccino is the one I am most excited to recreate. Oh, and look, when you hold them together, multiple sparkles. We're not gonna do that in real life. And the Fairy Frappuccino, it's a really dark, dull kind of green, so in real life, I also want to amp that up. Now I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit sentimental because this might be the last time I get to hold these fraps. I don't know when this version is going away, but I hope that there's more fraps in the new version. My beautiful fraps! So, so beautiful, yes! So in order to make these frappuccinos look really shiny and really sparkly, we're gonna have to get kind of creative because I don't think anything super glowy in real life is edible. You definitely can't eat glow sticks. But I did actually find on Amazon, it's called Neon Food Color and it's a gel. I've never used this before, but it does have three of the colors that I need for this challenge. Pink, Yay! green, and blue. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how this stuff works, you guys. I also found the brightest, most neon juices I could possibly find. I went down the drinks aisle, looked for things that were neon. So hopefully it'll give us the little extra pop that we need to make these babies glow. So just so you guys know, side note, in real life, I don't drink real Frappuccinos from Starbucks. I'm more of a smoothie gal. So we're gonna make these a little bit more fruity, except for the mocha and caramel. I mean, those are traditional, but we are going to amp it up. I might be in over my head. <laughs> you guys remember these plastic cups from the unicorn hatching video? Well, I actually bought them for this video. I just ended up doing this video way later because my life is a mess. It's a mess, okay? <laughs> To start, we are going to do the boring old mocha. But this time we have sprinkles and whipped cream. For the mocha, I decided to keep it pretty simple. What I'm going to go ahead and do is mix some almond milk with some mocha creamer that I found. And we're also going to add a lot more chocolate to the mix and a little bit of yogurt to make it kind of savory. Mochas are very savory. If you don't know what mocha is, that is chocolate and coffee combined. And of course, so we're going to make some super exciting whipped cream for this. So what I actually did is I got the ready whip. I just got like basic whipped cream or you can make your own whipped cream. But I was going for simple for this video. You know how they put the lines of the syrups all over and there's tons of whipped cream. So I want that effect. And don't you think that sprinkles would make this so much better? So we are definitely putting those sprinkles on top. Now for another 
you know, it's a little bit boring, but it is what it is. We're gonna make a caramel frappuccino. And back in the days when I actually drank frappuccinos before I realized they make my stomach feel terrible and I feel gross and full and sugar rushed after, I loved the caramel. And I would actually ask the baristas at Starbucks to put extra caramel on the lid as if it wasn't unhealthy and full of calories enough, but I did. So we're gonna stay true to that part of me and do it in this as well. Caramel you up, boy. Oh, yeah, look at that caramel. And we need a lot of whipped cream for this as well. Now for the fun part. Let's get mystical. And I honestly, I'm feeling a little bit like a Starbucks ripoff today because they did a ton of magical frappuccinos and now I'm making them at home and theirs are definitely much prettier than the ones I'm gonna make. So just a fair warning, don't compare me to Starbucks. I am not and I have never been a barista, so please don't make fun of me. Now we're gonna start with what I'm most excited to make and that is the mermaid frap. So what I did is I actually used some of that weird blue punch, got some ice and a little bit of my friend here, this crazy neon food coloring, blended it all up. And then, you know, because in Royal High when you're baking the cupcakes, they have the crazy toppings on top. So I'm actually gonna put blueberries on top of the whipped cream before we pop it in. So it gets that extra pop of blue. It looks like little balls, little beads. It reminds me of the ocean. So we're gonna do that for the mermaid frap. But I also found this weird stuff. It's like sparkle gel. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I think we should do a little swirl inside the cup of Ruski to make it look extra fancy. And there we have it. For the fairy, I also have some weird sparkle stuff. Oddly enough, so the Target I went to, they had nothing in pink, but they had a ton of blue and green. So I just decided to go all out with those ones. So for the fairy one, we're gonna make it a lot brighter green. Again, using this amazing food coloring we have here. Neon Bright by Chef Master, if you guys are interested. And obviously, because I want it to look way better than it does in game, we're gonna make it bright, super bright and use our weird, weird sparkly stuff. But I did find some really cute sugary green sprinkles for this, so we're gonna pop those on top too. And last but not least, the frap that I have probably most consumed in Royal High. Unicorn frap! And there's not gonna be soda in this one. We are using the juice, but we're also going to add some raspberries. Cause I feel like raspberries are more uniform as opposed to strawberry. They're a little bit more transparent of a fruit anyways. So I think, you know, let's just go ahead and throw them in there. And of course, we gotta have whipped cream. Don't you know we need whipped cream? So there we have the preparation of all of the fraps, but now it's time for the taste test. And most importantly, the glow test. You know, I happen to have bought for another video that you have not seen yet, but probably will soon, hint, hint, some neon powder. That is cosmetic powder. So I figure, you know, let's put it on and see how much more our smoothies glow with this on the cups. Oh yeah. And if it's not glowy enough, I will just blend it right back in there. I am getting a glow. It has to happen. Also, let me know if you guys would like to see that glow in the dark makeup video. I think it would be fun to film. Okay, now it's time for the part that I am actually really scared for. It is the taste test time. And as you can see, these have been sitting out a little bit. So they're starting to melt. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the ones that I think are gonna taste the worst first. Okay, so let's go with this one. It kind of just tastes like a weird punch. It doesn't taste that bad. I definitely taste like the fakey food coloring taste, but it doesn't taste that bad. It just tastes like tropical punch. As you guys probably noticed, I opened the lid to the blue food coloring with my teeth, which was a big mistake because now I have food coloring all over my mouth. Now for the green mean fairy machine. This one I'm probably the most scared to try because the consistency ended up like really weird. But here it goes. 
Hmm. I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, Yay! but I really like it. It's like a Mountain Dew popsicle. It tastes really good. Still, again, concerned about the color my mouth is gonna be. I think it's pretty green now. <laughs> There's a lot of sprinkle. There's a lot of shine. There are a lot of weird things in here that I would never normally eat, like this weird, like, edible glitter glue and the weird sparkles that have all sunk to the bottom. This is what it looks like now. Not as pretty, but it actually tastes good. I can't believe that I like this one, but I like this one. Ba ba da ba! Now for the unicorn and its horn. And this one actually held up okay. The horn is now a straw, <laughs> but. <sighs> There's this thing, so I don't really like the taste of food coloring, especially red food coloring. I don't know what it is about red food coloring, but it's just gross to me, and I can always taste it in foods. This is pink, so we'll see if it's as gross as red. This one is very fruity. I was not expecting that. I definitely taste food coloring, but I think just the flavor of this, I got like a chunk of icing. It was not a good combo because the fruit itself is really tart. Um, this was not my favorite, but it is my favorite because it's the cutest. Now this one better tastes freaking good. It's mocha. There is a lot of chocolate in here. I am excited. Oh, you guys. So good! This one I'm actually gonna keep drinking. A, because it has coffee. B, I let the taste out of my mouth. I cannot go through my day with a blue tongue. This one's great though. Oh, so good. Now for the caramel, which I'm guessing is just gonna taste like caramel. Oh, that, that is good. This one tastes the best. I thought this was gonna be the most boring one. Cause look, like all the design on the side faded off. You can see a little bit of caramel. All of the whipped cream sunk. Holy cannoli. This one tastes amazing. It almost tastes like dulce de leche. I will have you guys know, I came to realize I don't have any black lights. So I went to Target and I ordered some and they said they weren't in the store. So I bought blue ones and then I get an email right after I left that they did have them. So now I have black and blue lights. We are going to get these fraps to sparkle. Here we are. Every moment has led us to this in our journey to make all the fraps in Royal High in real life. People, it is time for the glow test. Will we have been a failure or will we live on in Royal High history? Let's find out. Will we have been a failure? Will we have been a failure? Well, today, you don't need to ask what's in my cup because you already know what's been in my cup today. A lot of really weird Royal High in real life fraps. And all of them did end up using almond milk. So they are technically frappuccinos. Sadly, I could not get them to glow, but I do know that they sell like edible glow-in-the-dark powders. Unfortunately, all I had was my makeup ones, and I guess the black lights from Target that I bought just really weren't powerful enough because I've actually shot a video with this makeup before under black light, and it really glowed, and today, nothing glowed at all. So unfortunately, Target sold me some bum black lights also, changing my black lights back to my regular lights. I totally burned my fingers, so I sacrificed a lot for this video, guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one of these Frappuccinos you think you would like the most, whether it be Mountain Dew, Berry Punch, Mocha, Fairy, Unicorn, whatever you want to call it. Leave a comment and let me know. And also let me know if you guys try to make any of these at home. I'd love to see it. Tag me in a post on Instagram and use hashtag Cybernova so I can see all the things you guys do on there. And if you need me, I'll be trying to get this taste out of my mouth. Goodbye. <laughs> Taco light, baby. I love tacos, I love tacos, I eat tacos all the time. Give me tacos, plenty tacos, only thing that's on my mind. Give me queso, extra cheese. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, Cybernova. This month I'll be doing follower sprees, giveaways, so head over now.